Hey, it's Jerky Productions here, and here's a tutorial how to start up a virtual box or a virtual machine, whatever you want to call it, from Oracle, and uh, how to run our operating system on it with internet to get internet. Okay, first you have to go download VirtualBox. The uh, link will be down below, and so first you'll have to start it up and just do whatever and just get to this menu and then click on new go down to version the link that I'll be putting in below is Windows XP and put a name let's say just that click next just uh, if you want to raise the memory, like the RAM, you can. I'd just say just about, I'd say 1,024. That's my average whenever I try. There's someone playing, is playing CSGO. Next, you just keep uh, create a virtual hard disk now. Click the first one. Keep this one, the dynamic. <clears throat> Sorry dynamically allocated just keep 10 gigs and then here here's your whatever your operating system this is the part that you'll need to have the operating system see it says empty and that's where you put the disk in so you click on here let's say I have three Windows softwares the Windows XP I'm going on professional professional SP3 ISO then you click start don't need that don't need this if you don't get um, an operating system on here it'll bring you to nothing when you click start so it's just loading all this stuff right here Shouldn't be too much longer. Okay, set up the stone windows. Okay, you just click the first one on hard partioned space. I don't even know how to say that. The one that I would go to is the first one, just quick if it's I think it's gonna be temporary, that's what it means. Like I'm just going to delete mine after because I just put viruses on it and have fun. But if you want to keep it, just click the NTFS. I'm not sure what the other ones do. I just click this one. And then just system is formatting or setup is formatting. It doesn't take long at all. Okay, then it's creating. The whole setup maybe takes 5 to 10 minutes. Like, not, not this process, like the whole entire thing. Now the setup is done. That's nah, not. Don't click anything. I don't did from because you don't have CDs. And then just wait till the loading is done. Wait for this. And I'll bring you here. It actually doesn't take 40 minutes or 39 minutes. It's a lot faster. 
Anyway, when I'm done this video, I'm gonna be making a virus video. So. This is what I have to do every time I uh, wanna make one. I've only made three, I'm pretty sure. But whatever. I'll be keep making them anyway. It should uh, bring up a menu or something, and I'll say what like keyboard you're using, like uh, what layout. taking quite long. Usually it takes a lot faster for me, but I don't know why it's uh, taking a little bit longer. I have no idea why it's taking this long. It's usually taking a lot shorter than this. Or, it's shorter. Okay, so this is like the language and keyboard things. So you just click next. You can name yourself whatever. I'm just gonna name myself whatever. And then your organization, whatever. I don't even think you need organization. I just do it anyway. Make your password. Doesn't matter what you put. Uh, just keep your, put your time zone whenever, whatever you want, or do whatever you want with it. Click next. More waiting. And that was my phone. So just wait. Another one, just name yourself whatever, it doesn't. That. Reeb will work. I don't even know what Okay, here we go, the installation's finally done, and it should just bring that lovely tone in, in about five seconds. Oh yeah, that's good. Fail. Like this little video. Oh yeah, I forgot. You have to do this too. This doesn't take. Uh. Don't do updates, and just click done now. Or if you want to click the other one. You won't be able to connect to the internet, so I'll save that for after. Just click not at no not at this time. Next, name yourself whatever you want. Next, click finish, and then that lovely sound. Ah, 2003. Okay.
first thing that you'll have to do to make internet fun is you'll have to go to the top and you'll say devices. Click insert guest guest edition C image. And then this site lets you like keep going in other things this software or this operating system. So just click it, download it. And click I want to manually reboot it. Finish. So click on the top of the corner. Click the X. Click the power off mission. Click OK. Now you'll have to go to the website until the intro.com. And I'll have it in the description. And after that, you'll have to go to settings for this machine and go to system um, you don't have to change anything here you could turn off the floppy disk if you want click on uh, network click here make sure that it's the intel pro 1000 mt desktop click cable connected and you don't need to change anything else Unless something happens, change to other ones. That that's the one that works for me. Now, because you have that uh, thing, the Intel Corporation, thing, click off here, minimize that, and then I already have a folder, so just have to get it from my other display. Click me. Here. So I have a new folder and here it is. Like you have to put the Intel thing from WinRAR or whatever you use. Drag it onto your desktop like this, right here. Put it in this folder. And then click uh, properties. Click sharing, share. And now click in everyone. Shoot. Now it's there. Click share. Done. Event sharing. Add. Or no, I just quickly. I you mean, know, I just did something wrong. Sorry. Click edit. Click add. Click here. I mean everyone. Add and that should be good. Close this out. Go back on here. Go to settings. Shared folders. Click on this add button like add shared folder. Click auto mount. Click down here. Odd other. Click new folder. Okay. Okay. And now it should work perfectly fine, like the internet on this device. So just start it up again. Hopefully this works, because sometimes I mess it up. The sound. Oh yeah, it'll automatically adjust to your screen display and your internet connection is not working yet this is the problem I always have problems with with my computer if it doesn't show up that's the thing oh it's right here so just click on new folder open this up just wait for it because well, it's Windows XP Click run. Just wait till the next button shows up. You can exit that. Next. Agree. You just leave it normally. You don't need the last one. Click next. Install. And then just wait for the bar to be finished. Huh. 
I don't know why that happened. I did. I think I did something wrong. I don't remember what I did. It's not. Oh shoot! This is um, really bad for a tutorial. <laughs> I did something wrong. Install drivers, windows, or adapters are present in this computer. Oh shit! Oh, I already did it, never mind. Okay, I did not mess up. Okay, so I guess you're here now and have fun. Just click ask me later. And then, here we go. Do whatever you want. A couple things will pop up, like, like about new um, windows or whatever. But there you go. That's mostly all. I thought I messed up, but I didn't. Thank God I didn't. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a comment if you have any problems, I'll tell you what to do. Thank you, and goodbye.